hello happy monday and welcome to another new vlog if you're new here my name is bailey i am a fourth grade teacher and this week i am filming a week in my life we have a great week ahead we have the book fair this week i always love the book fair i love the excitement that my kids have to go visit the book fair and check out some new books we were actually able to go today to check it all out we made wish lists for some books that we think we might want to purchase at the book fair and then on thursday we're gonna have a chance to go again and shop some books families also have a chance to shop before and after school this week so i know everybody is going to have fun with that i actually went myself today after school to make a wish list bin we have bins where we can put some books in there that we think our readers may enjoy if they were donated to the classroom so i added a few books in there that I think that my readers would like so we'll see if any of those are donated to our classroom this year. I was pretty tired after my busy Monday so I came right home. Tomorrow I'm going to be stopping by in the morning to prep for a sub. I actually have an all-day meeting at a different building in our district. I just prefer to stop by, make sure that everything is organized, logged in, ready for the sub, and my kids to have the best day possible before I head off to my meeting. Plus then I'm gonna carpool with some of my friends to the meeting, so it all works out. I will see you tomorrow. Happy Wednesday. I just got home much earlier than expected. Yesterday you saw that I was prepping for a sub. I was out all day at a PBL meeting. I'm part of my district's cohort where we work on some project-based learning. We get a bit of professional development on the topic and then we're given time to work on some projects that we would like to implement in our classrooms. So a few of my friends and I participate in that together and we really enjoy it. We have about four meetings a year and yesterday was one of those meetings. I definitely wasn't feeling my best yesterday and quite honestly I have not been feeling my best for basically the past two months. I've seen a lot of other teachers and people talking about this too so I know I'm not the only one. I tried to fight it on my own but when things took a turn this morning and I started feeling even worse I decided it was time to go to the doctor for some type of medication or solution or something to try to feel better. So I went to the office this morning and they told me that our building sub was actually available this afternoon and I asked if she could cover for me while I go to the doctor. I was going to go straight to urgent care but I figured I might as well call my doctor just in case and they were able to get me in this afternoon which is great. I'm really not happy about leaving my class again especially after yesterday but I feel like it's important that I go get my health under control for myself and my students just the people around me. While while I'm waiting for my appointment, I also brought home some tests that I need to get graded. So I'm just gonna go sit down and work on those while I look forward to my doctor's appointment. I'll keep you updated. All right, we're back. My appointment went well yesterday. He tested me for the flus and COVID. I'm sure some other things, but he said everything came back negative. So he just gave me an antibiotic and steroids to hopefully get whatever's been lingering around cleared up, get me feeling better, especially before the holidays. Back at school today and ready to wrap up this week with two full days today and tomorrow. I did kind of change my lesson plans for today a bit. I planned an additional activity that I want to do with my read aloud, so I have to make some copies for that. And then it's time to start thinking ahead to next week. I've been trying to get all my plans until winter break done. I think they're pretty much done, but of course I'll have to do my copies. So that's what I'm going to focus on today and tomorrow, making sure that I'm leaving with all of my copies for next week done. We're also having donuts with grown-ups this morning. We have the book fair at our school this week, so they come in for a donut for breakfast and then have a chance to go shop the book fair, and I've been trying to make my way down there. Yesterday, I guess, would be the only day that I went because I was gone on Tuesday, but I'm gonna try to get down there by 7.30 again today, so it's time to get to work. <laughs> Thank you. 
Happy Friday, we made it, and I'm so happy because I am definitely starting to turn a corner and feel better, which is great because we have a full day of school today. After school, I've been putting off a few social media things just because I haven't been feeling my best and I haven't really sounded my best. So today's the day to get a few of those things done before the weekend. I also have my sister's birthday dinner tonight, which I'm really looking forward to, and it's Friday. So we have a few things that need to be done here before the weekend. First of all, I need to make sure that all of my lesson plans and copies are done for next week. I know I've said it a million times, but when I leave on Friday, I really like to have everything ready to roll on Monday for the week. So lesson plans are done, but of course I need to work on some copies. I like to get those done right away in the morning before everybody gets here. That way I can get them all done and be out of the way. I'm going to start by printing a few things here and then we'll go make our copies. Sunday. I haven't checked in with you since Friday at school. I was able to get everything done. My number one goal this weekend was to rest and yesterday I really wasn't able to get anything done with the way that I was feeling anyway. I ended up going to bed at 7 o'clock so I just woke up from 12 hours of sleep and I'm slowly trying to get some things done today. I am going to one of my students' soccer games here shortly. I also wanted to edit my vlog this morning, finish that up so it can be uploaded today. I hope that you enjoyed watching this week in my life, and I'm going to see you in my next video next week. Thank you for being here.